City Mouse and Country Mouse. Once upon a time, there was a happy little mouse that lived in the country. One summer, she invited her cousin from the city to come and visit her. When her city cousin invited, she tried to show him how pleasant and relaxing life in the country could be. They sat on the pond and looking at the star. As they listened to the crackers chirping, they not play on delicious country food. Church at red comes cheese, meats, nuts, and berries. Are you enjoy country life, dear cousin? The country mouse asked. But the city mouse was not present at all with country life. He missed the sound of the taxi and buses. He missed the shop and people walking in the busy street. He felt he was quite bored. He related to his cousin, you part things. Life in the country is much too quiet and the food is so plain their cousin come back to the city with me ah, and i will show you how wonderful life can be the food in the city is fancy and delicious unlike any that you have ever taste it. The country mouse want to see whether her cousin life in the city was a grand as he delicious so she went back to the city with him. When they invited the country mouse were surprised at how noisy the city was. Cars were honking the horns, and there were so many people. She was happy when they went inside a large brick house. The city mouse led the way to the dinner room where the people of the house had already finished eating dinner. There were many wonderful things to eat still sitting on the table. What a feast! Exclamation. The country mouse, her eyes grew big and round as she gathered at the chicken potato salad brick cheese, strawberry, jelly, and chocolate cake. The country mouse began to think her cousin was right. The heifers she showed should move to the city, but just as the two were about to eat, a herd cat bounced on the table. Let's go, cried the city mouse as the two mice scurried into mouse house. That big cat live here, explained the city mouse to the trembling country mouse. We will have to hide far away, but we can go back and eat later after he is gone. But the country mouse shook and head. She said, as soon as that cat is gone, I'm going home. Just as fast as and I can. You are welcome to all the fancy food. You can eat. Ah, uh, for me, I think it's, it's better to 
it trampled food in place and slowly. And the country mouse went back to her slumber, lived in the country, and lived happily and peacefully ever after. And now I finished the book City Mouse and Country Mouse. Do you like this book? Do you have any question? Please tell me and I will answer for you. And now, my name is Anna. See you tomorrow and please subscribe me now.